Okay, guys, 2022, what does social media marketing look like in 2022? So that is a question I get asked all the time. Where is social media going um, and how can I be at the forefront of it? So, guys, these are just my views, my understanding, things I've read, seen, heard, all that kind of stuff about where I think it's going. So if we have a look at the top, the top few, number one, I know, I know, I know I harp on about this all the time, but TikTok. I think TikTok is getting stronger by the day. There are more users jumping on it. It hit 3 billion downloads not so long ago, a month or two ago. Um, it's only rising, rising, rising in popularity. Uh, yes, it's, it's not as salesy yet, uh, but I think people are really starting to turn off the sales aspect or the being sold to aspect on Facebook and Instagram. For me, TikTok kind of resonates, even though it is a very um, video platform, it resonates what Facebook and Instagram used to be years ago when it was a social and entertaining platform. Um, so I think that we are going to see the rise of TikTok uh, next year. I think that social ads are going to develop. I mean, there's the whole talk about cookies um, being crunched and things like that. Um, I think ads are going to get better. I think we're going to get better with who we're putting ads in front of. I think the demographics and audience and things like that I think there'll be some tweaks uh, to that as well so actually getting your content in front of the right people um, I think that will um, that that will come into effect as well I also think that the messages are going to be simple I really feel and I hope especially for real estate that the salesy mentality and the salesy pitch uh, kind of thing, you know, trying to sell to people through an Instagram post. Um, I think we're going to see that back off. And I think, you know, coming off the back of COVID um, and something I've been saying now for almost a decade is we're really good at selling our results, but not what we do very well. So I think we're going to really start to see a rise in selling our services and progressing our pipeline through socials because, um, you know, don't forget every post is like a call. Every like is like a connect. So if you're just putting out, are you thinking of selling? Are you thinking of selling? Are you thinking of selling? It's like calling someone every single day and saying, are you thinking of selling? Are you thinking of selling? Are you thinking of selling? Or sending them a text or an email. It's the same thing. So I think where when you ring up to say to someone, hey, just wanted to let you know that this place down the street just blah, 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 blah. Um, I think we're going to see more of that creep through on the social side of things. Um, and I think that when you look at influencers, now every man and their dog um, thinks they're an influencer these days. Um, but I think, I don't think we'll ever see the end of influencers, um, but I think we'll see them mature and step up. Um, I don't think it's enough to rely on something that you did last year. You've still got to be relevant. You've still got to be innovative and you've still got to have a message that people want to know about and want to learn about. Um, I mean, and that's not easy. Um, I mean, as everyone knows my journey, uh, I think it's January or February next year will be a decade that I've been marketing property on social media and I'm still at the top of my game and it's probably even more relevant now than what I was back then. And it's, it's stuff like this. It's keeping ahead, um, letting you guys know what's coming before it hits. That's pretty much what everyone um, wants to know. And that's the role, uh, I suppose, of an influencer is to let people know what's out there, uh, what's coming, what's available, um, and to get them on that journey uh, for either that business or service uh, and all that kind of stuff. So I think we will see influencers mature and look, we'll see some people drop off that that's part of part of the nature i also feel there's two other things that i really feel are going to come i think number one we're going to see with with stories at 59 to 15 seconds um instagram at 59 seconds for a post or igt igtv um on insta up to about an hour i think we're actually going to see that come down and I wouldn't be surprised. It'll be interesting to see what LinkedIn does. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's something that TikTok introduces um, as far as bringing the videos down to even three to five seconds. Um, because even now, and I remember when, uh, you know, back before I even got on uh, Instagram, we were doing YouTube videos that went for five minutes for a property video. Can you imagine sitting there? I mean, I've probably already lost you in this video, but can you imagine sitting there um, and watching something for five minutes now. I mean, I remember even with Instagram thinking, how am I going to get in and out in 59 seconds? 
Now that with stories, it's like, how do we get in and out in 15 seconds to keep someone's attention for longer than five seconds now is a really big deal. So I, I really think that we're going to see that, um, that decrease. The other thing that I'm really starting to notice is I think especially during COVID, um, at this time around, we're seeing a lot of people not necessarily having to rely on their websites or the major portals to sell property. We're seeing a lot of sold to database, sold through social media. I think agents now have, I think there is a, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, now that it's happening to agents and now that buyers are starting to notice that you can follow agents on socials and it's becoming um, like websites and things like that, I think agents are promoting stuff a lot more in a different way, which is really now starting to uh, resonate with the public. And I think that is key. Once the public picks up that you can actually see properties on social media first, um, or you can buy properties on social, or you're leading people back to your website, it's always been the thing. Once the public starts to pick up on it, that's when you've got something. So I really feel that we're probably going to see a lot more emphasis on the social and digital marketing next year than we will. Uh, and I think the portals are going to, I think they're going to be in trouble. And I think that we're going to see a lot of these bigger companies offer more packages and social and digital marketing and things like that. The problem with that is they'll be coming from behind, um, not in front. And I think we're already starting to lead um, into next year. And guys, I'm telling you, you really need to be getting your ducks in a row now. You need to be planning now for 2020. Uh, sorry, for 2022. Oh, don't think it's back to 2020. Um, you really need to be planning now for 2022. So they're just a couple of things. And I mean, when it comes to influencers, that's just not like people who have a, a, a stage or a presence on social. You can be an influencer with only 200 followers. So long as you're in your marketplace, you can be an influencer. Influencer doesn't have to have 10 or 100,000 followers. An influencer can have 200 followers of the right followers. So if you're giving good quality information, um, you know, and people tune in to see what you and hear what you've got to say and what you're doing, that is an influencer. Okay, so you've really got a chance now to double down on your marketing and get prepped for 2022. We're going to talk about... Um, you know, what else is coming in stay ahead, uh, staying ahead more in turnkey next year? Um, because that's going to be, turnkey next year is going to be a bit of a celebration. It's going to be uh, celebrating the last 10 years. We're going to have a look back at the last 10 years on social media, what's happened in the last 10 years. And we're also going to look ahead at what's coming. So what the next decade uh, is going to look like. So guys, for anyone watching this, I hope that adds some value to your day as far as little things that we can expect to happen in 2022. As always, uh, if you need a hand with your socials, please get in touch. That's what I'm here for. Talk to you soon, guys.